In this video, we will be making four servings of chicken teriyaki fried rice. First thing we need to do is make the chicken. To do this, we will first make the teriyaki sauce to marinate the chicken in. To make this, we are starting with two cloves of garlic. You could chop these finely, but I used a fine grater to grate the garlic. Then we will also chop or grate a similar amount of ginger to the amount of garlic we used. Then I chopped everything through a few times to make sure everything was finely minced. Then put the garlic and ginger into a bowl. To the same bowl add a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of mirin, this is the brand I am using. A quarter cup of cooking sake, this is the brand I am using. A quarter cup of soy sauce and two teaspoons of cooking salt. Just be aware that cooking salt has larger grains than table salt, so use half the quantity if you are using table salt. Mix the sauce to combine and set it aside. For the chicken, we only need 300 grams or around three chicken thighs in this case. Although I would recommend cooking double the amount of chicken since it takes no more effort and you can use it for something else. Trim any excess fat, skin, connective tissue, bone or cartilage that you don't want. Then I like to make a few cuts into the thicker parts of the thigh to even out the thickness. Repeat this for all your chicken and add it to a sealable bag. Then add the marinade to the same bag and seal it up, squeezing as much air out as possible. Then mix the chicken around so that the marinade covers all the pieces. I also like to put this into a container or bowl just in case the bag leaks. Then put this in the fridge for at least a few hours, but I am leaving it overnight. If I remember, I also like to flip the bag a few times throughout the marinating process to make sure the liquid evenly marinates the chicken pieces. It is now the next day and we are ready to cook the chicken. Place the chicken on a tray with a wire rack. Then empty the leftover marinade into a bowl or container as we will use this to baste the chicken throughout the cooking process. Also put a little bit of water at the bottom of the tray so the marinade doesn't burn as it drops down onto the tray. To cook the chicken, I am going to put this at the top of the oven with only the top heating element on. My oven is set at 230 degrees Celsius or 450 Fahrenheit because that is the hottest it will go. If your oven can go hotter than this, it might be worth trying. There isn't really an exact time for how long to cook it, you just have to monitor it as you go. I cooked it on one side for about 15 minutes before flipping it and brushing it with the marinade. Then back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes and repeat. Keep flipping and brushing until it is cooked to your liking. We aren't going for a specific temperature, we are more so looking for the surface to be nicely caramelised and for there to be a few char marks here and there. When you are done, set it aside to cool. Just make sure not to brush any extra marinade after you finish cooking since it is contaminated with raw chicken and won't be cooked again. Once cooled, we need to cut the chicken for our fried rice. Take three thighs and chop them into strips. Then rotate and chop into cubes of the same thickness. I prefer around one centimeter cubes for my fried rice, but you can cut this bigger or smaller depending on your preference. Put the chicken into a bowl and set it aside until ready for cooking. Next, let's prepare the rice. Since we started preparing the chicken one day ahead, I also cooked the rice a day in advance. You can use freshly cooked rice, but I find that day old rice tends to work a little better. To a pot, add two cups of rice. I am using Japanese short grain rice since we are making a Japanese style dish, but you can use jasmine or another white rice if you prefer. Wash the rice in water three to four times or until the water is significantly clearer. Then strain the rice, shaking off as much excess water as possible. At this point, you can cook the rice in a rice cooker, but if you don't have one, here is how to cook it in a pot. Put the washed rice into a pot with two and a quarter cups of water. Since this rice is purely for fried rice, I am going to add the seasoning while it cooks. Add two and a half teaspoons of cooking salt, one teaspoon of white sugar, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of MSG. Mix to combine and put this on a stove. Bring the water to a boil over high heat with the lid off. Then put the lid on and turn the heat to the lower setting and cook for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, turn the heat off but leave the lid on and let it rest for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we should have some perfectly cooked rice. Mix this briefly to evenly distribute the pepper which has stayed on the surface of the rice. 
then empty the rice on a tray and spread it out to help it cool down faster. Once it is cooled to room temperature, store it in the fridge in two separate containers since we are going to cook the fried rice in two batches. Next let's prepare the vegetables. First we need one carrot. Slice the carrot on an angle to form large ovals. Then line up the ovals with each overlapping each other and slice into strips. Then rotate the strips and cut them into cubes. Put the carrot into a bowl and set aside. Next we have an onion. All we need to do is finely dice the onion. Once it is diced, I also like to chop it through a few more times to make sure there aren't any large pieces we missed. Add the onion to the same bowl as the carrot and set aside until ready for cooking. And we will also need some spring onion. Here I have two spring onions which just need to be chopped into small pieces. Once chopped, add the spring onion to a separate bowl since it will be added at a different stage to the other vegetables. And the last ingredient to prepare before we start cooking are the eggs. I will be using one egg per serving so we will need four eggs total. Crack them into a bowl and beat until combined. Set aside until ready for cooking. And now we are ready to cook. This dish comes together very quickly, so make sure to have all your ingredients prepared and close by for easy access. Heat up your wok on maximum heat. I am using a carbon steel wok, so when it starts to smoke, I know it is well heated. Then turn the heat to low and add one tablespoon of any neutral flavored high heat cooking oil and swirl the wok to coat the surface. Then add half of the beaten eggs and swirl them around to form a thin layer. If you leave the heat on high at this point, I find the eggs tend to burn very quickly. Once they are around 80% cooked, add half of the rice, which should already be portioned. Turn the heat back to maximum and stir fry until all the rice is separated and the egg has broken up into small pieces. To do this, I like to flip the rice, then lightly punch it with the back of the ladle to break up any clumps. Just make sure not to punch too hard, otherwise you might mash the rice grains. Take your time here, as toasting the rice is the most important part of the dish. Once you think you are nearly there, add half of our carrots and onions and continue to stir fry for another minute or so. Then add half of the chicken and stir fry for another minute or so. Then add one tablespoon of soy sauce around the edges of the wok so that it sears. Let it sit for about 10 seconds or so before stir frying to mix the soy sauce through. Once the liquid from the soy sauce has evaporated and it is evenly distributed, turn the heat off and add half of our spring onions. Mix the spring onion through and the rice is done. Evenly distribute this between two containers. My camera wasn't filming, but essentially we just need to repeat the exact same process for the other half of the ingredients, for a total of four servings. And once we have finished cooking, let the fried rice cool at room temperature. Then add the lids and store them in the fridge for up to one week. Just microwave to reheat and enjoy. Each serving ended up being 585 calories with 29 grams of protein, 80 grams of carbohydrate and 15 grams of fat.